Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is mermaid inspired. This is the Chanel mermaid look. I'm gonna be using almost exclusively Chanel products on my eyes. Um, so this is not to say that you can't do a mermaid look with different eye products. These are just like a lot of the products that I have are Chanel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have instead of going out to buy new things. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today's look is the Chanel mermaid look here. This is what I'm going to do for you guys in the video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel and hit that notification bell to get a notification every time I post a new video. So this is my version of the mermaid look. I'm gonna be using mostly Chanel products for my eyes. I think I only use like one product that isn't Chanel. I just happen to have a lot of Chanel makeup at home and so I just figured I would use what I had instead of going out to buy different things. So I'm mixing up a few different palettes to get the look that I want. This didn't turn out exactly how I envisioned it. I thought it would be more a bit more turquoise but it's a bit more blueish green but I still think it came out pretty nice. So uh, without any further stalling, let's get started on our makeup look. Okay guys, let's get started on this look. So I already filled in my eyebrows and I primed my eyelids, but the rest of my face I'm gonna do afterwards because some of these colors are kind of dark and if anything falls, I don't wanna have to like touch up again. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna use as a shadow base is this Chanel um, Stilo eyeshadow here. I got this from the collection last summer. I think they come out with these like every year. So this one is in the color, I think it has a name, yes. It's called Bleu Nuit, so like night blue. It's basically just um, a dark blue here. And what's nice about this is that it's very long lasting, it's waterproof, and it really just like blends out very well. However, since this is waterproof, um, this stays, like you, once you apply it, like when you apply it on your eye, you really have to blend it out pretty quickly because once it's set, it's set. So I'm gonna apply it, I'm gonna work with it pretty quickly, I'm not gonna chat too much. So before I go into the blue, I'm gonna use my Chanel number 268 eyeshadow palette here using the lightest color, and that's gonna be my transition shade. So using a fluffy blending brush like this, Okay, so now we're going into the fun part. What's really cool about this is that when you apply it on the skin, it actually has like a cooling effect. I don't know what that's about, and I'm surprised, like I've owned this for a year, and it isn't dried out yet. I was worried that it would be dried out, but it isn't, so that's good to know. So for this look, I'm gonna focus this color more on the outside than like, I'm not gonna go all the way inside because it's a bit dark. So I'm really just gonna focus more on the outside. So like I said, this color needs to be worked pretty quickly. I'm just blending it out a little bit so that it's not quite as opaque, but if you want it to be that color, you could definitely do that. Going back in with my blending brush, I'm just going to work the color a bit. And you know what? If this doesn't look so great at first, that's totally fine because we are nowhere near done and we still have a lot of work to do. So if this doesn't look so hot right away, it's not that big of a deal. So here I'm using this brush that I got from the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I'm just using it to kind of distribute this blue color a little bit all over my eyelid. Using the same um, eyeshadow pencil here, I'm also going to put it under my lashes. And using a fine tip uh, brush like this from MAC, I'm going to just work this eyeshadow so that it just looks a bit more smooth and seamless. Okay, this is basically the shape that I want the dark color to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye with a dark color as well. Um, just applying this as a base and then I will get back to you in a minute. Okay, this is basically the shape that I want. So now I'm gonna go into some fun colors. I'm using the Chanel um, what is this, 232, I think it's Tissé Vénitien. It's this green quad that came out a few years ago, maybe you guys remember it, it's really pretty. This palette that came out a few years ago, it was quite the hit when it came out. So I'm gonna go into the lightest green color here. So I'm using that color and I'm gonna put it um, kind of in the middle of the eye here. You know what, I'm just gonna use my finger, I think that'll be just as effective. And using a brush like this, I'm gonna go into the lightest color in the quad. I'm gonna go into this light peachy color here for the inner corner of my eye. 
So going into the Chanel 244 TCA Jazz Palette, I'm going into the lightest blue. And I'm just placing this color in the middle center part of my eye here. I just found that the green didn't quite do what I thought it would do. I thought it would be like more of a turquoise color, but it came out pretty dark. So I'm just placing it on top of the green that I had already applied earlier and just kind of going in. And I think this is giving me the color that I wanted. Like this is more, this is giving me more mermaid feels. And going back into my TC Jazz palette, I'm going into the darker blue color here and I'm going to go along my lower lash line. In the waterline on the bottom, I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner. This one is here is from the pharmacy. I've had it for a very long time. I don't even remember where I got it. I think it's by Annabelle. So I'm just going into the waterline here. So I'm going to go into my Chanel uh, Stylo Zier Waterproof in black, I think, or Noir Intense. It's basically just a black liner here. I'm going to go into, I'm going to tight line and go into the waterline on the top and also do a thin line on the top as well. Okay, and now I'm going into my Chanel Volume Mascara. I think this is a fantastic mascara. Obviously it's a bit more expensive, but if you do want to try a high-end mascara, try the Chanel Volume, it's fantastic. All right guys, I went ahead and finished the rest of my face makeup off camera. So this is the finished look. This is my mermaid inspired Chanel look. Um, I know like summertime, a lot of people do mermaid looks. So if you have a mermaid look you wanna do, go ahead and do it. I've seen people do like lots of turquoises. Um, I don't really have that many turquoise eyeshadows. I may do with what I had. I had like lots of blues and greens, so I kind of just played up with those. If you have a look you want to do, please do it and like tag me in the post. Tag me in your mermaid look. I want to see what you guys create. All right, guys, this is my finished look for my Chanel-inspired mermaid tutorial here. This is my mermaid look. I'm pretty sure I was a mermaid in a past life, so it seems fitting to do this look. Um, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. If you have any tutorials you want to see, if you have any reviews you want, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like. Um, also, if you guys decide to do uh, a mermaid look yourself, make sure to tag me in the post. I want to see um, what you guys create with your mermaid inspiration for the summer. I think like summer is the perfect time to do this look. So go ahead and do that. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.